Welcome back to Warby Cogs Workshop, it's time for the September update. So not a lot happening in the workshop this month, mostly being in the garden getting some late grass sown. Uh, but I did get a little bit done, I've made a couple of things for my French polishing course which is uh, only a couple of weeks away now. Uh, they were rushed so uh, I didn't bother filming them because if I film it, it just takes twice as long as normal. I've also bought a new toy, a Makita Impact Driver. It's a part of the professional range, so 18 volt lithium ion batteries. Uh, this, uh, it's to replace my old drill drivers, which uh, used NiCad batteries, and the batteries are just ruined. I must have left them on to charge too long or something. So here's what I made this month. This is a Go board. Uh, this was a little bit of an experiment, just because I needed very fine lines and I wasn't quite sure how to make them. And uh, I did consider trying to do inlay, but it was proving very difficult. So what I've done here is uh, made a saw cut with a Japanese saw and then filled it with black milliput. And it seems to work quite well. There's a, a few little uh, issues. Um, here it's a little bit of grain got torn out. And that's the, the milliput on there now is very thin. I had to sand it really hard to get it, to get it back and looking good. So I just put a little bit of construction veneer around the edge. Uh, it's and I put a piece of veneer on the back. Unfortunately, it split as it dried. Uh, this was a very old and dry piece of veneer. But uh, I'm pretty chuffed with it. There, there was a couple of minor imperfections which filled with milliput, and I hope when that is French polished up, that'll look good. Um, so, that, I mean, that's what it is. It's, it was just a test piece for French polishing. Uh, on the top, I think it's just some pine, some quite old and dry pine. And then I've laminated that onto a piece of ply. So hopefully it won't move, but I don't know. It, if it fails, I'm, I don't mind too much. So this one obviously is a chessboard. It's an American walnut for the black squares, and I can't remember what it is for the white squares, uh, with a little bit of sapelia around the edge. Uh, made a mistake there, probably shouldn't have used sapelia around the edge. It, uh, it's not easy to play, but uh, yeah, it seemed, it's worked out okay. Uh, on the back, we've got just pure American walnut. And again, that is uh, laminated onto a piece of ply. I would, what was it? This, so this is veneer, and then that's laminated down onto some six mil ply, which is then laminated with some 18 mil ply to give you the, the full thickness. So this I'm really pleased with. Uh, my first real go at veneering. Uh, obviously it's with constructional veneer, so it's a, a bit easier to work with, but uh, I'm really pleased with how well that's come out. So Wobby Cogs Workshop's about to hit a milestone of a thousand subscribers, which is 1,000 more than I expected to get. I really enjoyed making that chessboard, and I wouldn't mind making another one, so I was thinking I might make one as a sort of thousand subscriber giveaway. I don't know if I will do it yet because I'm pretty pressed for time, but uh, watch this space. So here's my new toy, uh, Makita Impact Driver. It's part of the professional range, it's brushless, and it really packs punch. I've only really tested it on scraps at the minute, but it's got tons more power than my old drill drivers. This is the reason the old drill drivers are being retired. So it's a, uh, was it 14 volt? Yeah, 14.4 volt. NICAD battery and that battery is supposedly 1.3 amp hours but it can do about six screws. So this one's uh, 18 volt lithium iron and I've already put in about 50 screws just as a test and it, does, it hasn't even broken sweat yet. So I think I'm going to really enjoy that. So what's coming up in October? I plan on building a mother of all router tables. As you've seen in a previous video, my current router table is just a converted cover and it means I've got to get down on my hands and knees to use it which is just getting old really quick be built around the same side panels that I use for my pillar drill cart with again big members running across the top and bottom to hold it all in place and then a piece of ply on the back. It's a really quick and simple way to make a very very sturdy cart. I admit there's not a lot of finesse to the cart but what I want is a shop cart. I want something that is very sturdy and I don't mind if it gets a bit bashed up in the shop. I'm really looking forward to having a decent router table and I'm probably going to start just now. So until next time I'll see you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.